Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at the latest release of Penguin Magic's exclusive line of Honeybee playing cards, the Honeybee Elite Edition in red and blue. Hey guys, I'm Heather, welcome to the channel. We are kicking things off with a playing card deck that I've been waiting around four months to get in my hands, the Honeybee Elite Edition playing cards. These cards were announced on Kickstarter April 20th this year, 2018, and the campaign closed with nearly $19,000 in funds raised, making it the highest funded Penguin Magic Kickstarter thus far. The original Honeybees came out in 2015, borderless decks in black and yellow, and was a limited run of, I believe, 2,500 decks per color. The next version of Honeybees were kickstarted in 2017, and they're nearly the same, except these decks have poker style borders and include different gaffs and jokers. Penguin Magic also kickstarted a Metalux Honeybee deck as well. I haven't opened my Metalux deck yet, so I can't comment offhand about the gaffs and jokers, but I do know that this deck is bordered, as the Metalux process was not able to print full bleed cards at the time. I'll do a more in-depth video a comparison of the Honeybee decks in the future, but for now I really want to focus on the Honeybee Elite Edition that is about to come out. The Elite line of Honeybee playing cards is going to be a great alternative to standard bikes for working magicians, poker players, or if you're a member of my family, getting your butt kicked by your grandma in a game of California Rummy. Ooh, I'm out. I actually just caught these decks in the mail a few minutes ago and haven't opened any yet, so let's check them out. Once I finally got these things open, I was not disappointed. The Elite Thin Crush stock is amazing and these cards feel broken in right out of the box. I'm no cardist, but I did notice they felt super soft while doing a handspring, so yay. These should have a similar feel and handling as the Bicycle Elite line, but in my opinion, these look way cooler. The campaign included some neat extras like a classy dealer coin and matching stripper decks, which open up a ton of possibilities for magicians of all skill levels. Even if you're just getting into magic, stripper decks can help you pull off some pretty awesome tricks with next to no skill. The Honeybee Elite Edition has mostly standard court cards with the black cards accented in blue and the red cards appearing to be a slightly deeper shade of red. The Ace of Spades features the Honeybee line's classic Honeybee, the same little guy you'll see on the backs of all the previous versions of the Honeybee line. And on these cards, he sits inside a honeycomb gradient spade. There are two different jokers included in these decks, one black and white, another in full color, featuring the beehive previously found in the ace of spades of past decks of the honeybee line. And if you prefer identical jokers, which I heard some people commenting about during the Kickstarter, all you need to do is buy two decks and swap the jokers around to get dupes. So there you go. The gaff cards included are pretty standard, a double backer and a blank facer. So there's some magic application right out of the box. Overall, I think the Honeybee Elite Edition is an excellent deck of playing cards, whether you're a player or a collector. These are priced lower than other Honeybee releases and aren't intended for a limited run, so as I mentioned, a great alternative to standard bikes no matter what you do with them. And when it comes to magic, these have a really classic, non-distracting look and feel to them and should play great for any audience. You can head over to penguinmagic.com right now to place a pre-order for these decks if you so desire. I'm not entirely sure of the release date, but it should be pretty soon. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and got some useful information. Uh, that was the goal. I've been wanting to get this channel going for nearly two years now, but it took the release of these cards to really kick my butt into gear. 
There's another new playing card deck I am dying to shoot a review for and it was just released and is in transit right now so as soon as that arrives I will get started on another video. As far as this channel as a whole is concerned, it is brand spanking new, so you're probably wondering what's in store besides playing card videos. I was born in the 80s and I'm a 90s kid, so you can expect a lot of content featuring vintage video games, comic books, cartoons, kung fu movies, toys, games, filmmaking, little magic, maybe some retro synthwave experiments, who knows? And if there's anything you'd like to see on here, just let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, as my daughter always says, more sugar, more power.